All right, welcome back. I haven't streamed Genshin in a while, <laughs> uh, but I figured there's a new, um, the new expansion of Fontaine came out, and I figured why not I'll play it or on stream because I have actually started it. I didn't realize that I started like the first two missions of it, so I'm a little into it, but I didn't leave the first area yet, so I'm not that far. This is the team I'm currently using: Al Haytham, Yalen, Jean, and Yaimiko. If you have any questions or comments about my team, feel free to say it. I got a bunch of characters, but I don't know. I just use whoever I would like to use. So we'll just jump right into it, right? Uh, I gotta go to the, I spoke to Al Haytham. No, oh my god, not Al Haytham. Uh, what the hell? The, oh my god, what is his name? Here's the guy you can summon right now. Um, New, Nouvellet, I spoke to Nouvellet and he wants me to go explore the um, the tower prison because child has gone missing. So, uh, you're all caught up. Oh, and one of those two? Ooh, and you'll find that. Thank you! Uh, didn't you just finish eating the cake that New Villette gave us? That cake was pretty good. But as soon as Paimon remembered that we're about to go to prison, Paimon's stomach suddenly became completely empty. Now that Paimon thinks about it, We've always been super careful ever since we arrived in Fontaine. Just to avoid breaking any strange laws. The first thing we did was break a law but when we got here. Here we are, about to willingly send ourselves off to the Fortress of Meruki. Hmm, maybe this is what they call fate. <sighs> Let's just try our best to investigate everything quickly once we get there. Paimon doesn't want to stay in prison too long. Oh, someone's taking my picture. Oh, it's probably yep. Is that I hear? Is it the taste of a breaking story? Yeah, we're being arrested, but we know about it ahead of time. Hey, you can't hear a taste. And what are you doing here, Charlotte? Oh, don't remind me. I invited an eyewitness to a case to eat here, and I was planning to get some great material out of him, but he didn't even show up. Oh no. Ah, oh, calm down, calm down. This is nothing new. As a journalist, you should be used to this by now. As oh, I hit the wrong button, sorry. Some juicy tidbits from the traveler, you might still be able to recover the cost of the meal. Uh, you know we can still hear you, Charlotte. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never mind, it's nothing. I just heard you mention the Fortress of Meripede. You didn't commit a crime, did you? Please tell me all about it. No way! We would never! We're just going there to... <laughs> to... Uh, um... To... Explore. Oh, yeah. Shut up! <laughs> for spoiling the ending of a detective novel in huh? public is definitely the answer. You're being arrested for that? Yep, we suck. Oh. But now that I think about it, I suppose that's not completely unreasonable. That's pretty despicable. Almost as offensive as committing theft. Yeah, Paimon, you suck. Uh, you mean Paimon really did something that serious? You didn't even think anything of it at the Sorry. time. Yeah, you suck. Yeah, well, in that case, it's nothing particularly newsworthy after all. Oh, how disappointing. How do you not know we're lying? Oh, right, there's still a chance. Uh, since you're going to be at the Fortress of Meripede, would you be willing to help me gather some material for a story? Depends on what it is. Um, about that, uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have any time. Oh, it's nothing difficult. All you have to do is think of a way to get some time face to face with the warden of the fortress. What? How is that easy? Warden, the honorary title of Duke in Fontaine. Sounds really cool, huh? Only those who have made significant contributions to the nation have been conferred this title. It's incredibly rare. On top of that, the fortress of Meripede has never been under the jurisdiction of the courts. Practically nobody, including journalists like me, knows anything about the person in charge there. So how do they even know this place oh, works? I could write an exclusive article about him. I bet it would sell a boatload of papers. You make it sound easy, but it really depends. Of course. I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. So this meal is on me. You suck. All right, you got a deal. We'll do anything you want. <laughs> then it's settled. The food should be here any second, right? Huh? <laughs> Wait, just how much did you order? You, nope, you, you committed to it. It's on you now. <laughs> 
After completely stuffing yourselves, you prefer to go to the Fortress of Meripede. Alright, I don't know where to put this. Like I said, I haven't done this in a while. So, I guess here? Yeah, you did. Alright, so now we gotta go... Oh, so just so you know, I briefly went over there because I hate not being able to see where I am. So, I just put... I got this and this, and then this was to get like these two things during the day, but I haven't done anything over there. So trust me, I have done very little over there in terms of actual content. So I'm sure there'll be plenty of things to look at. Ah, the fast running, gotta love the fast running. I apologize if my keyboard is too loud. I, uh, for whatever reason, it's so sticky. I don't know what is going on with the, the running key, especially shift. It just, it won't work. So I may need a new keyboard. Everything else works, but there's shift key and then, what? It just, what? Why is it so, bro? oh my God, it's so white. Where do they want me to go? That's weird. It told me to go here, and then it told me not to go here. Oh, I gotta go to this thing. Right, right, right. Okay. Whee! What up, Nouvellet? Bam. Nope. Bam. Alright, Nouvellet, we're ready. Is this where the entrance is? You have come, just as promised. Yes, this is the one and only entrance to the Fortress of Meripede from Erinaeus. Careful, you may want to step back a bit. Oh, so you have to go down from here? Is the prison underwater? Utilizing both the barrier of the water as well as the fear humans have of the depths, the fortress of Meripede is naturally the perfect place to confine and guard criminals. But do not worry, it is not nearly as frightening inside as you may think. You will see for yourselves once you are down there. It sounds like he's been in there. Uh, Paimon hopes you're right. Don't know about you, but just thinking about being at the bottom of the sea like that gets Paimon the heebie-jeebie. We have been swimming all over Fontaine. What are you talking about? Oh, there's one more thing. I mentioned that I have had personal dealings with the administrator of the fortress, Ridesley. He's a very shrewd fellow. Ridesley? That is not how you spell Ridesley, but okay. Yeah, we heard about him too. He's that Duke, right? Correct. He is the highest ranking manager of the underwater prison. Even though you are going there to investigate at my behest, it would behoove you to avoid any confrontation with him or any of his subordinates. I love the word behoove. It's such the a Duke good word. The Duke ever leaves the fortress of Meripede, but that does not mean he is not privy to all that is happening inside and outside the fortress. He is quiet, but not unaware. So please bear that in mind. The Duke Ridesley. I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to choose this all one right. just because I can say his it's name again. all the time that we have to talk privately. I'm counting on you two. Arrest me for spoilers, no sir. We won't let you down. Good. <clears throat> Madeline. I'm here, Monsieur Nervillette. These two are the newest convicts, I presume. <laughs> Don't worry. They won't escape on my watch. I'm already gone, bitch. <laughs> like we would try. <laughs> Please follow me, you two. I'll process your paperwork for entering the Fortress of Mer... Meripid. Sorry, I cut it off. What does this mean? Oh, no. Wait, what? Involvement in other quests. Current quests. To the star's shining depths. Continuing the current quest may cause parts of the following quest to become occupied. Progress cannot be made on occupied quests. Unfinished comedy. Continue this quest. Hmm. Hold on, I gotta click something. Bam. Sorry. Um. I don't know what this means. I mean, I would assume I. Good roll. I don't really care about this one. I'm going in there, so. Oh, I got. Wait, I got mail. Where did I get mail from? Oh, I got mail from being... Okay, cool. I'll take that. Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's go down the stairs. Oh, oh my god, it's an elevator. Oh, I can't push a button. Damn. There we go. Into the thing. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god, wait. How deep is this gonna go, actually? I'm kind of curious. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got the jellyfish. Uh, it's one of the things that they gave out during the, during the anniversary Hi, thing. So if you sign on now, you should be able to get a jellyfish. Huh. So this is what it feels like to be a criminal in Oh, I guess I should have wrote drops in the title. Yeah, whatever. You two seem to be taking this pretty well. <laughs> it's rare to see convicts in such a good mood. What's a merit? Complete the required procedures. This doesn't seem that complicated, but okay. What up, everyone? I'm not getting in trouble for wandering around for some reason. Even though I'm supposed to be in prison, this is kind of a free-range prison, huh? Works for me. Take it easy. No, don't tell me to take it easy. Yep. Yep. Uh, this one. Why'd they make you make the trip down here today? Monsieur Nervalet personally requested I escort these two convicts. I suppose he was concerned others might not be up to the task. <laughs> well, now, aren't you the lucky one? Must be nice to be on good terms with the big shots like the Chief Justice. The only people I get to see every day are the new inmates. Hmm. Well, have you tried service with a smile? Who knows? It might help your professional reputation. Wow, she just called you a unhappy bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. As if. Every criminal comes through here looking miserable. How can I smile with such a toxic work environment? And even if I did smile at them, the convicts would probably just think that I'm some freak getting some kind of twisted enjoyment from their pain. That probably is true. Oh, she's got a point. <laughs> well, I've finished transferring you. You two will register here, and Marette will guide you through the remaining procedures. <sighs> yep. I'll take it from here. You head on back to that bright and sunny world above. Man, you are a ray of sunshine here. Okay, let me see. You are the Traveler and Paimon, correct? Present and accounted for. Yes. Let me confirm your charges and sentence. Let's see. Ooh, do I really get you to be charged with spoilers? With eating a cake specially prepared for the Archon <laughs> based Nishnayan envoy without the Archon's permission, thereby incapacitating the political center of Fontaine for a brief period. Sentence 45 days? Huh? Wait, you mean the cake that Nervalet gave us was. Just looking at the charges. It seems you two are capable of causing some serious trouble. Uh, you better be sarcastic. I eat a cake. <laughs> and considering how fond Lady Furina is of sweets, this crime is tantamount to trying to assassinate the Hydro Archon herself. You really do have an eye for criminals. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> anyway, we still need to finish processing you oh, before you can hell? enter the Fortress of Meripede. Please stand in front of the board over there. I'll Ooh, take your mugshots shots with my camera. Yeah, give me a mugshot. Oh, right. But be sure to catch Paimon's good side. Hmm. The side without cake on it. Ooh, can I take my own mugshot? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. My own mugshot done. Oh, actually, her mugshot would be funnier. Under Merit's guidance, you've completed all the required procedures. And we're done. Thank you for your cooperation. Next, someone will be along to guide you inside the fortress. Please be sure to cherish this opportunity for rebirth. <laughs> God, she's so sarcastic. It's great. Rebirth? Isn't that a little much? We're only gonna be here for 45 days. You two are the new inmates, right? Follow me. It's a long time. Oh, okay. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the traveler. He doesn't care. Save it. Not like I'll remember your names. 
Move it. That's a real attitude we like. Be a dick. Ooh, sparkly. Oh, I hit the wrong goddamn. I suck at taking pictures. I wish that wouldn't show up though every time. I know I can turn that off, I just don't remember how. Nice. Did Paimon already ask something she wasn't supposed to? Why should I tell you anything? What's in it for me? You sure you don't... You don't, you sure don't seem like a guard. Why are you sent to bring us in? <sighs> this is exactly why I can't stand you fish. I wouldn't even fish. be doing this if it weren't for the credit coupons. I'm not a fish. Credit coupons? Alright, hold on. I'm just gonna hit auto. I'm not usually an auto person. All right. But... Seeing as you're not the annoying kind that's getting dragged in here crying and blubbering, I guess I can tell you a few things. The next time, it'll cost you some coupons. Mora means nothing here. Here, we use credit coupons. Coupons can get you almost anything in the fortress of Meripede. Desires? Fulfilled. You want power? No problem. Coupons can even change fate itself. So, credit coupons are a currency that can only be used here? It's not as simple as that. Like Moret said, everyone gets a chance at rebirth. No matter how much money or power you had before, it means nothing once you set foot inside the Fortress of Meripede. You have to start over and earn your coupons. Everyone starts from the same place, and you have a chance at a new, less terrible life. I guess that's the real purpose of the coupons. They symbolize true fairness and true justice. And this is also exactly why so many criminals choose not to return to the outside world even after they've served their sentence. Really? Oh, well, that's kind of cool. So that's what the Fortress of Meripede is like. Huh. Paimon was under the impression that it'd be more like a prison. It certainly ain't all sunshine and roses here. But it's also not the worst place to be. You'd better take a good look at the scenery now. It'll be the last chance you get for a while. Oh, After being turd. away from the sunlight Ooh. for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. It just stops feeling oppressive, you know? No, oh. I don't. I'm actually an inmate like you two. Welcoming newcomers is a job I've picked up to earn some extra coupons. Smart. Have you ever seen the Duke? Have you ever seen a harbor? Uh, I'm going to go with Duke. Nothing. I'm sure you wouldn't have answered either way. Uh, why aren't you answering us again? <laughs> We're not allowed to talk about the Duke. enough for free. Any more info is gonna cost you. All right, fair enough. So all you care about is oh, more. I hit the wrong button. Oh God, I'm Wait, sorry. No, coupons. Almost there. It's down through here. Your turn to give it a try. Give what a try? Just walking? Hey, finished an aquarium. <laughs> What do we got? After completing all the paperwork, go to Forge and Metro Meripede. Thank you very much. Let's go. Oh, cool. They have the dogs and the guards. Any random chests or anything you can pick up while I'm here? I'm gonna go around. Mmm. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Oh, I'm in the water. I'm drowning. Oh, God, help me. Wait, I am drowning. I can't get out. Oh, no. Oh, that was... That was actually, I was like, oh crap, I can't, I can't move. All right, so there doesn't seem to be anything here. Let's go. We going down again? Uh-oh. Drowning time? Oh yeah, drowning time. Let's go, little octopus, let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah, my face. I, I don't know where to put my face. I'm guessing the bottom left is okay. There's nothing really over there unless I put the, the chat on, but... I don't really have chat on in this game most of the time. So, we're going even deeper now? Oh, you can't see Just it. Just how deep down are we? 
The Marianas Trench. It's like a metaphor for your previous life, Wait, what? isn't it? Where's Deegan? Uh, our lives weren't that bad. Can he see me? Deegan's not in here. How is he talking to me? There are no electronics here. Witchcraft. Damn, we are going deep. Hello. All right, let's see. All right, where do we go now? Uh, well, doesn't hurt again. It's a small room anyway. Right, nothing's here. Let's see. Fortress of Maripede. Oh. So this is the actual entrance to the Fortress of Maripede? Huh. It looks like there are other new arrivals too. Oh, they sure don't look happy. Uh, maybe we look too relaxed for fresh convicts. Hurry up and think about something sad. You're probably the only one who doesn't fit in. Wow. Oh, right. We're on someone else's territory now. Uh, we need to think of a good way to act like criminals to get by. Think of all the food you won't eat. If You'll be upset. If we get even Nevelette might not be able to rescue us. If we ever get found out, then maybe we'd become real crim- we'd become criminals for real. Hey! Don't scare Paimon! Hm. Oh, Paimon's not ready for all of this! Uh, look, I don't really know you, and I have no idea what kind of crime you committed, but... You wouldn't have happened to anger someone important, did you? Uh, someone important? Hmm, Paimon doesn't think so. Uh, wait, why are you suddenly trying to talk to us now? Now's not the time to worry about that. Anyway, it's over there, so... You just go on over there by yourselves. I've done my job, so... Good luck. Why is this even more suspicious than before? What was that all about? Uh, wait a second. Are there usually so many garden rats around here? Oh, they gonna kill me? Apparently not. Does this mean that... Get ready to fight! Prisoners numbers 7459 and 7560. Welcome. Oh, no need to be anxious. These Gardamex aren't here to attack you. In fact, they're here as your honor guard. Gotta say, love the voice already. When I heard that you were friends of Monsieur Neuvelette, I had the Gardamex come and wait in formation. Wait! You know about our connection with Neuvelette? The seafloor isn't as cut off from the world as you might imagine. He's a However, dog, kind I'm of. I'm afraid that I know nothing more than that you are friends of the Udex. And, as you can see, committing a crime means being sentenced here. Even if you're friends with the Chief Justice. Quite fair. So you must be... The, the Duke! Uh, greetings, Your Grace! L lovely weather today, what? isn't it? We're in a building! <laughs> oh, greetings, my good fellow. Well, I'm willing to imagine that the weather is as good outside the sea <laughs> as you say it is. <laughs> ah, how great it would have been if only the Fortress of Maripede had been built on the coast, huh? It would have been so convenient to enjoy a nice chat in the sunshine. Ah, my profuse apologies. I just got so nervous when I saw you, I just... Would people still say that? So this is the Duke. He sure looks a lot younger than Paimon imagined. The Traveler and Paimon, correct? Mr. Deacon here was responsible for your welcome. I trust you were satisfied with his guidance? No, he sucks. He didn't tell me anything. He's taking great care of us. Splendid chap. Wow, chap. Yeah, I'm going to say that. It was okay. His attitude could use some... Oh, no. We got to say trap. Give us some, give us some coupons. Standing. Well, Deacon, I recall we discussed fate during our last work meeting, hmm? I believe that fate will reward all those who take every aspect of their work in life seriously. When you return to your bunk, you'll find the guards have issued some yes. extra credit coupons to you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Your Grace. Oh, and you too. I can't believe you gave me such praise. Yeah, no credit coupons. If you need anything <laughs> in the future, anything, please come find me anytime. Oh, I'm going to no use credit the shit coupons out of that. necessary. Well, I believe that concludes the introductions. We've already taken enough time here. Deacon, if you would. Yes, Your Grace. I'll take my leave now. <laughs> Please, follow me. To make you feel more welcome, I'll show you around the various facilities of the Fortress of Maripede. 
I hope it'll help you adjust to life here. Probably not. He's going to personally give us a cure? Huh. Hyman can't figure out what this guy's thinking at all. Let's just roll with it for now, but I hope he doesn't know too much already. No wonder Charlotte's so interested in him. He's one of those mysterious types. All right, let's keep up with him. All right, so it's this way. Oh, viewpoint. Hell yeah. Let's get a picture. Oh, that's actually a really nice picture. Hold on. So if I stand here and look up. Nope. Like that. Um, yeah, I'll try. I'm not great at this, but let's see. If we take a photo. What do I have to do? It's F1. Hide myself. And the UI, which... No, that one I don't really care about. Where's the UI button? Ah, it's Control H. That's what it was. Control H. Haha! Look at that pretty picture. Okay, and then I have to do that. Okay. Cool. I took a picture without taking a picture. Nice. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down here. Um. I'm just going to go with the story for now. There's no need to be so reserved. The label of criminal is nothing but one of many identities. And being criminally inclined here at the fortress is just one of many ways to survive. Uh, is it really okay for the warden to think like that? We're real criminals, you know. <laughs> oh, that yeah, that's so obvious. Well, then maybe you'll be able to carve out a name and a place for yourselves in this underwater world, hmm? But before you go in swinging, please remember that in the Fortress of Meripede, it's better to not cause trouble for yourself or for the guards. Now, we've arrived at a very important place, the Coupon Cafeteria. You can come here and claim one welfare meal each day. Welfare meal? You mean it doesn't cost anything? That's right. Criminals are essential to fortress operations, so we must guarantee that they at least have the basic means to survive. One meal a day? <laughs> but that's not how it was. Back in the day, it cost your reward coupons just to get a cup of water here. For fish like you who just arrived with nothing, you have to go to work hungry until you earned enough coupons to eat. It was only after His Grace became the administrator that we got the free meal rule. Oh, now, what a gentleman. Gets a square meal every day. Even no good slackers who've never picked up a wrench in their whole lives. Nobody starves to death here. I guess that's a... In the fortress of Meripede, credit <laughs> coupons are the only currency, and everything must be purchased. In some sense, you could say using the coupons is a form of trade. But trade is always conducted by people. So if we want trade here to prosper, we need everyone to work hard and live their lives. If nobody could even afford a meal, then the whole fortress would be up in arms. That would only make things more difficult for me. Fair enough. So, rather than saying that we're giving everyone a free meal here, you should say that everyone's hard work has improved the living conditions in the Fortress of Meripede. I think free meal Your sounds better. Your reasoning is correct, but what I said is also true. <laughs> Whatever the case, hard work is rewarded here. You'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else as fair and reasonable. Right! Hyman sees your point. By that logic, this place doesn't seem so bad after all! It's terrible, Paimon. Oh, wait, no. We shouldn't drop our guard so quickly. But it seems the inmates really respect the Duke because of his attitude, right? Hmm. Stop trying to we nonchalantly still whisper try to, to me. The truth with their own eyes. Uh, let's continue this way. Let's see. Oh, what's my free meal? Give me my free meal, please. What can I do for you? I'd like a free welfare meal. Understood. Enjoy your meal. Free food. Yeah, welfare meal. Oh, they do sell recipes and stuff here. Okay. More recipe. Wow, you need a lot of these things. Okay. I hope they come out of 
chests and stuff then. Uh, there's a, ooh, a teleporter somewhere nearby. It's underneath me, and there's some other stuff, but we'll see. I don't know what that means, so we're going to avoid that. And there's a teleporter above me? Hmm. I have no idea why I went the way I just did, but it worked for now. There's a thing over here. Gots to grab that. Yoink! I just double check. Nothing's here except for the gears, as usual. To the next place. Let's go. I'm 100% gonna get lost. Just telling you that now. This place is known as the Pancration Ring. Sometimes we have criminals who have more energy than they know what to do with. Their daily work alone isn't enough of an outlet for them. So, instead of leaving them to their own devices, we've provided them with this dedicated venue. This way, nobody will get involved unless they want to be. Pancration matches? And you can earn extra coupons? Oh, what do you think, Traveler? Interested? But I must warn you that your sentence will be extended if you fail to restrain yourself and end up seriously injuring or killing your opponent. So, did you set this place up too? No, actually. I just granted approval for the organizer to use this area to build the ring, and I collect a portion of the proceeds in return. Of course, the fees are also quite useful. Oh. Do you mind if we ask what they're used for? Sure. Ensuring personal safety, maintaining the arena, and resolving any conflicts that arise. Why? Are you interested in how to manage a pancration ring? Oh, no, no. I'm always just wondering if that's how you paid for everyone's welfare meals. It's actually a, a pretty smart guess. thought. I see you have a talent for entrepreneurship. Oh, you hear that? Paimon has a talent! <laughs> so we can start a business here? That is something you can discuss between yourselves later. Let's move on for now. My god, did a character actually have a way to make Paimon stop talking? This could be a first for the whole game. Alright, so that's above me. Uh, I'm not getting that right now, I don't think. Right, so he's now over here. But, I got nothing. This place looks awesome, by the way. I love the whole aesthetic of here. Oh, he is above me. I guess I am going up. How the heck do I get up there? Uh, I guess I'm climbing? Or am I supposed to take an elevator, maybe? I don't know. Oh, God, I'm so bad at navigating. Is this open? Nope. Uh, my biggest downfall of this game is navigating anything. Wait, office? Uh-oh. Where do I go? I don't know where I am. Uh, okay. I see squiggly stairs. Oh, this is like an actual office. Ooh, nice music, though. I would have thought there'd be an exit or something in here. That's stupid. Why make it so you can come in here? There, there's going to be a story point in here, but that's not the point. Also, God, it's so bright. You take me to the elevator. I will be happy, but also kind of annoyed. There's the freak. This is exactly what I mean by I'm dumb. And I don't know where anything is. I can't even follow the sparkly line. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. What the heck is in my bag that I don't know of? Oh. Oh yeah, my food. That's right. Hey, a thing. Take it Let's easy. go. Teleport. Nice. Take it easy. Okay. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon. 
No, wait, what time is it again? That, that would be what me. time indeed. Time waits for no one, so it's best to keep an eye on it. Ah, uh, my, my apologies, Your Grace. Jeez, that guy's so nervous he almost forgot to breathe. <gasps> oh, no, he Sorry. did. Forgive my manners. These are the dormitories, which is where inmates sleep. The guards will inform you where your bunk is later. In the fortress of Maripede, criminals usually spend most of their time in either the production zone or the sleeping areas. The production zone? What does it produce? Is that where we'll be working? Not necessarily. Though working in the production zone is the most reliable way to earn credit coupons. If you have other skills, you can skip your shifts to earn them in other ways. Sounds the like fact it, yeah. that the fortress of Maripede has continued operating completely autonomously is proof enough that most people are willing to work honestly and earn a stable income. As for what we produce, many of the clockwork machines seen all over Fontaine originate from our workshop. Therefore, mm -hmm. the fortress of Maripede is not only a place where criminals serve their sentences, but also a giant machine factory. There's no need for me to get into specifics about the production process now. You'll experience it all firsthand when you report for work tomorrow. Thank you, Grace. You got it, boss. <laughs> Let's move on. The tour continues over this way. I really hope I don't have to remember where any of these are. <laughs> what? Why is he here? Linny? <laughs> Oh, uh, you really scared me there. I didn't expect to see you here, uh, Your Grace. <laughs> I thought maybe I was so tired from work that I was starting to see things. The only thing you should be seeing is the work in front of you. Stay focused and keep up the pace. Oh, is something the matter? <laughs> I like his hat. It's nothing. Paimon's just worried about how hard we'll have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Ah, you're a great liar. Go to the infirmary. Take it easy. Oof. You're asking a lot. Okay, where the hell is the infirmary? Um, I think it's this way. What is over here? Ooh. Weird little rooms on its own. What do you got? Are you here to send a letter? If so, do you mind if I help you polish it a little? A letter? We can deliver it to almost anyone in Fontaine as long as you have the coupons to pay for postage. Oh, I left it on auto. So, would you like to send a letter? If so, please pay for postage first and also no queue jumping. I can write to anyone? Well, usually we recommend writing to relatives or friends or uh, joint guarantors, people like that. And then we're operating for the public benefit. We have limited manpower. What is it they say? Resources are not allocated at random? Got it, thanks. Oh, don't mention it. What a, oh, I knew it. There's always one. Hello. Treasure. And one way to draw your target out of hiding. A, a mate, whatever this is. This thing, yeah. Cool, thanks. Take it easy. Take it easy. Anything else? Sparkles. Gotta grab them sparkles. Oh, hello. A child? Oh, another child character. Stop making children! Your Grace? What are you doing in the infirmary at a time like this? Oh, I'm gonna guess her name's Sigwin. You didn't injure yourself, did you? Please say her name. Not yet, unfortunately for you. But thank you for your concern, Siegeween. Siege wing? <laughs> then you must be here for those two. Allow me to introduce you. This is the infirmary, and Siege Wing here is the Fortress of Maripede's head nurse. <laughs> Hello, new faces. They call me the head nurse, but I actually handle all the nurse related work all by myself. Oh, it's like me at my job. <laughs> Since you seem to have some rare downtime with no patients, perhaps you could find the time to join us for dinner. Are you asking her on a date? 
Then these two must be some important convicts. <laughs> sure, I'll join the welcome party. Thank you. Your presence will be the pièce de résistance for today's tour. Oh, so the tour part is over now? I believe I've already covered the primary aspects of life here in the fortress. As for your work, there'll be someone else to guide you through the details. Hmm. Is there anything else? I seldom conduct tours, so why don't you just ask if you have any questions? Oh, this is uh, a bad idea. Well, this is your yeah. first time here. Simon's not sure what to ask. Good answer. Then let's head back to the coupon cafeteria. Maybe a meal will help you think up some questions. You should at least try to be excited. Our free meals are actually pretty good here. Describing it as a pretty good meal just because it's free is not a great way to describe food. <laughs> nope, I didn't mean to do that. Anything else down here or up there? I don't see anything. All right, let's go. Easy enough. All righty. pretty good too. Oh, isn't that the meal box that only super lucky people manage to draw? Seems like you two are quite fortunate. Mm. It actually has nothing to do with luck in this case. I had a word with Walsey, so you didn't have to draw lots like everyone else. Why are you trying to get oh. my attention? You mean the meals are random? Yes, what you get to eat depends completely on your luck. You could say that it's a distasteful little game that Chef Walsey likes to play here in the cafeteria. I knew it! If criminals got to eat tasty food like this every meal, the crime rate in Fontaine would skyrocket for sure! Excuse me, did I hear you mention Nervy Let just now? When? Uh, I've been wondering how he's doing. Is he busy with work? Has he been taking care of his health? He seems healthy no matter how you look at him. But he works so hard all the time, so it must be really tiring. Sounds like he hasn't changed a bit. Looks like you can stop worrying so much, Sejuine. Oh, that's good. But I still feel like it's been too long since I've heard any news about him. No news is good news. Maybe next time I've got something to discuss with him, I can invite you to accompany us. Mm -hmm. But isn't the Fortress of Meropede independent from Fontaine's court system? What do you two have to discuss? Good. Well, Damn, we provide she's getting all some good kinds questions. of mechanical products for official use, and some essential goods have to be obtained from the overworld, so we naturally have to stay in touch about this and that. Monsieur Nivellet's character is unimpeachable. No matter the question, you can discuss it openly and freely with him. Talking with him feels quite effortless. In light of that, hmm. I am quite willing to go out of my way to show respect and accommodate him. For in what? Fact, Right now, I'm treating you two as guests invited by Monsieur Nivellet. But unfortunately, I can only do so until the end of this meal. And then after this, you. you two will just be inmates here. Thank you for your hospitality. You're very welcome. Well, your new life awaits. <laughs> and beats me to death. Turn to the dormitories and talk to Fielding. Okay, so I have to go up. Hmm. Where is this? It's not this one. Take it easy. Okay, we got the elevator here. Good. Oh, they literally said go to the dormitories. That's easy. Fielding. I don't remember that name. 
you're new, that's why. Haha. -ha. A traveler in Paimon, right? Listen up. As new inmates, the only thing you need to worry about is what to do and when to do it. Don't make any extra trouble for yourself. Man, I love how they can talk without opening their mouths. Follow me. So this is where we'll be sleeping from now on. Oh, Paimon can't believe this. Oh, the days of staying home and reading detective stories are like a dream now. We had a home? Uh, by the way, Traveler, we saw a lot of things worth investigating just now. Even though the Duke didn't say it too directly, judging from what he said at the end, it seems that he was only welcoming because we know Nouvellet. We are criminals, and Paimon did eat that cake, but we're actually here to help Nervalette. You're just spitting it all out there, huh? What if someone's is overhearing us? that he knows we're here on a mission? Or is Paimon overthinking things? Of course he knows more than he's letting on. Yeah, Paimon thinks so too. Oh. He probably knew why we came here from the very beginning and intentionally wanted to send us a message. Maybe something like, Hey, I have my eyes on <laughs> you, so don't try anything funny. But there's nothing we can do about that. We're already here, after all. Yeah, you're right. It's not like we can go back to Nouvellet empty-handed and say, The dude looks scary, so we gave up. Only you would say that, Paimon. Uh, and besides, the Duke said that he was willing to go out of his way to show respect for Nouvellet, right? So, we at least need to try. But... Paimon hasn't gotten a clue where we should start our investigation. There was one other important thing. You mean... Linny's presence yeah, here. that's what Paimon was thinking too. Paimon almost spilled the beans when we ran into him. Fortunately, based on his attitude, it looks like the Duke sees Linny as just another inmate. How the hell did he get in? We worked so hard to help clear Linny and Lynette's names, and yet we turn around and bam, he's in prison anyway. If I had to guess, I'd say he's here for the same reason we are. Oh, right. Lenny and Lynette are from the House of the Hearth. They work for the Knaves, so they could be here to investigate, too. And look, there's something over there. Huh? Oh, it's a card. Paimon didn't notice it earlier. Hmm. It's a joker. It oh, God, like run. It a prop. Lenny must have left it here. He's in prison and still doing his little tricks, huh? Let Paimon have a look. His little tricks. It was nice to bump into you again. Let's catch up in the production zone tomorrow. What in the world? It's written like he's greeting a buddy on the street. Paimon thought he'd write something important. This proves that he's up to something. Of course he's going to write right, something so. important. We can ask him what's going on tomorrow. Let's get some rest now. Why would he write something important on a card that everyone could see? With a bit of trepidation, you and Paimon set your first night asleep in the... Fortress of Maripede. Hey, you're finally awake. Oh god, what is this, Skyrim? You're up early today, Paimon. Uh, Paimon's first day as a prisoner. Last night, Paimon dreamed about getting interrogated by the guards until Paimon told them everything, and then Paimon woke up. You told them everything? Hey, come on! It's just a dream, okay? Paimon wouldn't really steal. Maybe. Hey, lazy bones. What are you still doing here? If you don't want to starve, then get yourselves over to the production zone. Uh, sorry, we're going right away. Hell yeah, Lazy Bones, that's my new name. You set off as soon as possible after asking Fielding about the location of the production zone. Go to the production zone and talk to Grainville? Man, these names are just getting worse and worse. Alright, let's see, production zone. I don't know where I'm going. I really hope it's it is below. Okay, good. Take it easy. At least it's easy to find right now while I have markers. Take it easy. Wait, this goes. Oh no. Tell me there's like a staircase or something that goes down. To find my own way. No. Oh, thanks for pointing straight down at the floor. 
There's the down elevator. All right, easy enough, I guess. It's there. Let's go down. Whee! Curious if the map is, or what the map looks like, because I have no idea if it has like a separate map or not. Actually, it should since I'm seeing it on the mini map, but I don't know if it has like an overall. Holy crap! This goes real far. Okay, that was the wrong button. I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, this place is... Okay. It's... Holy crap, that's a lot of levels deep. Alright. Hmm. It just never seems to end. Nope, never... Take it easy. Never ever, bud. Never ever. Let's go... Alright, bud. Let me do my work. What do I do? Ah, you must be the catch of the day. Looks like you've got some luck getting assigned this space. Yep, we just arrived yesterday and... Don't interrupt me when I'm speaking. Yes, sir. Yeah, Paimon, shut up. Listen carefully to my instructions. I don't want any mishaps. Every machine here is worth more than the both of you. Working around these machines can be very dangerous. Do your job well, and you can eat in the cafeteria after your shift. Get sloppy, and you dine in the infirmary. Anyway, the Fortress of Merope doesn't want to lose a single one of its machines. And it also doesn't want to waste the production potential of any inmate. You got that? Got it! Sorry, yes, sorry. Your job is to use the machine over there to process widgets. Watch carefully, and make sure you step on the pedal at the right time. If the machine gets jammed, then give it a little maintenance with your fist. Here, nice. take this. Bring me the process widgets, and I'll give you some credit coupons in exchange. Oh, tell me I get like a rhythm game. I will do that. Press operation and widget processing. For the modeling process, you must place the unprocessed parts into the machine, and then interact with the machine to start the challenge. When some parts get stuck while rotating, you'll need to attack the rotating part to restore the machine's function. When the part's base glows, jump to complete the modeling process. When you finish, you must retrieve the successful pr processed part. Just go here. And I get another. Thank you. Oh boy. Huh. This one is tolerable. Though since the processing is done by machine, the product is all pretty much the same How's anyway. It tolerable. All right, I'll pass you for now, and we'll count up how many credit coupons you've earned. Zero. <sighs> I'm on six. Cafeteria. We still need to meet Lenny first, right? He probably just finished up his work, too. He should be around here somewhere. Let's go find him. I got 400 credits for that? Damn. Let's make some more if it lets me. Oh, man. Here 
Wait, hold on. Before I go up, is the other teleporter down here? I think it is. Hold on. Let's just go double check. Always a nice thing to get. Ha. Let's go, boom, boom. Someone's gonna throw something at us. Hey, over here. <laughs> the top hat. Oh, you scared Paimon! How'd you appear out of nowhere like that? Oh, you scare so easily now? Is there something worrying you these days? Oh, you little. The only thing we're worried about was trying to find you. <laughs> sorry, oh, sorry. Fine. Come over here and keep it down. really are inseparable that's right my brother simply can't stand to be away from me oh incest uh it's not just lynette fremine is also here do you still remember oh, the him cryo guy i think oh you mean that diver from the yeah. house of the hearth right i remember seeing him in the court of fontaine before now hurry up and tell us how did you end up as criminals this time court to prove you were innocent, but now it looks like our incredible court battle was for nothing! Sadly, even the teeniest of things can land you in prison these days. I put together a street performance and used the popularity we gained from the Opera House incident to attract a big crowd. And then? Rioting. Next, I invited several audience members to participate in the show. And then, with the entire audience watching, their wallet suddenly disappeared. My brother was charged with theft, and I was charged as his accomplice, having assisted him in his crime. Smooth. Uh, it really isn't that bad. The missing wallets are all in the leftmost drawer of the Maison Guardianage's big filing cabinet. We just need to see how long it takes to discover them. Yep, we should be released then. In terms of the magic trick itself, I think the performance went perfectly. Lenny to magic himself into prison. That's not the point, Lenny. The question is, what are you two really Indeed. doing here? Last time I hid my identity from you, I promised that I'd tell you absolutely everything if you were angry about it. No more secrets. So I don't plan on keeping anything from you this time either. At the moment, the House of the Hearth's interests don't conflict with yours at all. all right, that's we were the instructed first. by the father of our house, the Knave, to come here and conduct an investigation. See, Paimon guessed right. As for what we're investigating, perhaps you haven't heard, but the fortress of Meropede hides a secret. Some even say that the entire fortress exists just to protect it. Of course it does. The House of the Hearth has been investigating this for a very long time, trying to uncover its mysteries. But recently, all of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished and have not been heard from since. Dun, dun, dun. We believe that this is a direct provocation, and it's the reason why we came here. Why is the house so interested about this secret? Father has somehow managed to confirm that Fossilors does not have Fontaine's Gnosis. Huh? How did she manage to learn information that important? Yeah, that's a pretty weird Father thing has know. her ways. Many of them are beyond our imagination, and we've never had the chance to see her at work. But we trust her conclusions. It was this information that led us to suspect that Fontaine's Gnosis might be in the fortress of Meripede and is related to that secret. So it's all real. about the Gnosis again. Gar. 
Well, that's about it from our side. How about you two? Did Monsieur Nervulet send you here? Bingo! Nina's been applying a lot of pressure. She wants to know what happened to Child, so we came here to investigate. Uh... Traveler, are we allowed to tell them? You already did, stupid. <laughs> you already said everything. Consider an exchange of information. <laughs> you don't need to worry too much about that. She's just asking for a report on Master Child's predicament as a means of pressuring you. Father used this situation as a pretext to negotiate with two high-ranking officials in the court of Fontaine. She actually just wants to be able to make concessions on this matter for gains elsewhere. Almost like a bargaining chip. Right, Sometimes you need an excuse to do things you otherwise couldn't. And a harbinger is more valuable than you might imagine. Of course, it's not a complete farce. If we do manage to find out what happened to Master Child too, then diplomatic relations with Fontaine could improve, and Snezhnaya might even be able to adjust its stance a bit. Is it just Paimon, or does it feel like we're the only ones who actually care about Child's situation? The relationship between the Harbingers must be as bad as ever. Probably. Well, I wouldn't go that way. far. Father just has different standards than we do when it comes to what can be sacrificed for an advantage. Uh, by the way, I have a suggestion. Why don't we team up? Never. You're Even though enemy. we have different objectives, we're both here to investigate the fortress of Meripede. It would be more efficient for us to work together. As you know, the House of the Hearth has many reasons to seek the Gnosis, but our highest priority remains resolving the prophesized crisis. You can trust us on that. How is that your top priority? You're not even from here. Sorry, I must refuse. See, I told you. You suck. Is that so? Hmm. Sure enough, it won't be easy to convince them to cooperate with us. Lenny seems to be thinking pretty hard about something. Like, how of course can not he is. Hear him two Lenny feet has from been you. looking forward to a chance to reach an understanding with you ever since last we met. Or, I should say, we were really looking forward to teaming up with you this time. Lynette, just tell them everything, why don't you? Isn't that kind of the point? It's okay to open up a little. If all we're doing is sharing info, fine, but I may reconsider if things get serious. <laughs> Very prudent of you, and consistent with your behavior since we first met. That's reasonable enough, and I agreed to cooperate on these terms as well. I was prepared for the worst, but you were actually more agreeable than I anticipated. <laughs> All right, then. There's no time to lose. I have some information to share, so listen carefully. That was fast. Since Lynette and I arrived here, our investigation uncovered the fact that the Fortress of Meripede has a forbidden zone. Most people just clammed up and wouldn't talk, but after asking the right questions, we were able to confirm the existence of the Forbidden Zone from the guards. You should be aware of that while you're investigating. Oh, where's A Dirk? Forbidden Dirk? Zone? Or Dirk, <gasps> whatever his name Could is. Could that be where Child disappeared to? You're right, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Good. That's the most suspicious thing about the fortress that we know of so far. We have a few other unanswered questions, and we'll be investigating those as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope you find our information useful at least. No, I don't. Oh, look at the time. You two must be hungry. You should go to the coupon cafeteria and get something to eat. I'll use my cards to get in touch with you again in the future. Oh, that's just what Paimon wanted to hear. Paimon's starving after all that work today. We can talk more about the investigation later. Let's go get some grub. Okay, yes, uh, something's wrong. We're gonna get real crap food. Let's go. It's <laughs> a long way. More stuff to take. Take it easy.
it got me to the right general area. Ooh. No more elevators for me. Take it easy. No peasant stuff for me. Oh, he wasn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Oh, who knows how long it'll be until we're lucky enough to get that super tasty meal again. As long as you're here long as long as you're here long enough, it'll only be a matter of time before you get it again. Yeah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here as soon as possible. They couldn't even show but the bad food. Life on. here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kinda mean and the work being pretty tiring. You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. I'm not a fish! If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. Are we calling him Old Timer because of his mustache? Have some advice for us, Old Timer? <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? No, they all want to make But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Don't ask questions. Rule number one. some advice for us, old-timer? Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh? Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to do with that? Dun-dun-dun. Found it. Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. Yeah, at a cost. Don't trust <laughs> people. Come on. Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Come on, Pyro. Do you Stupid. really think you can just ask and I would tell you? She definitely Pyman understands, think that. but we don't have many credit coupons yet. I'll do your work for you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. What's enough? Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught and completely out of your element. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. How much I'm longer? usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye-bye now. Hmm. I wonder you how left. many we have to get. Just like that. Huh. Do you think he's just trying to scare us into buying fake information from him? It's pop. Is it possible that someone would just disappear? But I'm still interested. Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? Don't kill anyone. But, like he said, we don't have any coupons and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah! We were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold. Says the person you want. After your meal, you spend some time getting familiar with the fortress. Before long, it's nighttime. Return to the dorms. Two rests. Oh boy, I gotta find the dorms again. Uh, I think this is the teleporter for the dorms. Yes. Ah, I'm learning. <laughs> that our shift is set for every morning and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. That's a pretty good deal. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. 
Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything Why here. Why do that? Ah, Paimon's so tired. And we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. I never really thought about it, but does she actually lay down or does she just float in the air? Oh, this is fun. Hello. It's chill day. I hear someone calling me. Okay, this is a fighting arena. The crossed arms. Dream of child? That's weird. Rather in a dream, I was child. Is that even possible? Unless it wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, <gasps> child's vision! What? So you had it with you this whole time? What? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours. How did I get his vision? I don't remember that. Maybe I can use his vision. To see everything he experienced from his perspective. And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did, did you see it? in the oh, dream? He gave it to me, Do you I know think. where Child went? The dream was a little hazy and I didn't see anything particularly useful. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. Yeah. What's the plan for today? Let's go work in the production zone. Let's spend some... No. Let's go work Let's in the production go. zone. It's time to start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. We arrive at the... Oh, cool. It's going to just take me there now? Awesome. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasted. No. Already Good. It, Here sir. you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I was supposed to jump. Sorry. This thing is going like much faster. Just fool around telling me what to hey do. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Rowan, you steal my shit, oh, I'm mad. Hey there! We've seen you before. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. Rowan, you steal my shit, I'm I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainville, always calls me chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. In other words, you haven't matched... Oh, my God. I can't say that. That's rude. Uh, screw being rude. Hey, not so loud. 
<laughs> <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, Chief. We'll be sure to come to you first. I think I've got the work more or less down pat. We just haven't quite learned all the rules. Uh-oh. Did you just ask about the rules? Is that breaking rule number one? <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? I don't think you need to know that. The hidden rules, that's what they're called, right? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Oh, I should be Truth nice is, to these people. You two keep working like this, you might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. So the conditions in this case If are... you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. What a weirdly specific rule. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Paimon! <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? So I can't work tomorrow. You mean... Even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day... He died. He disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later... Some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. What the? How could that happen? What did that worker look like? Did you ever see him? Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Suspicious. Hmm. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Thank you for the information. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try? Sure. Huh? Oh? I can't you... disappear for the water. Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? Ooh, I like nothing venture another uh, game. All right, if you insist. Well, I can't get turned into the water. Chest showed up. Sound usually means. Whoa! Isn't this the super lucky meal? Looks like hard work really does get rewarded. Hyman's gonna take her time and save her every bite. What would you like to do this afternoon? I mean, we gotta do one more work in the production zone, right? Right. We just need to keep at it. I'm not, I don't want to disappear, but at the same time, I feel like this would go way faster if I just do this three times in a row. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasted. Already on, could you, no. I don't Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. All right, after this one, maybe I'll go. Who knows? All right, uh, Alhita, let's go. Let me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Right, here's your credit coupons. Thank you very much, sir. Can I do anything else now? Ah, we woke up so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good 
think it's finally time for bed. Oh, I literally have to gather information. That's kind of cool. It's the same thing as the other one. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? I mean, I have to work again, right? While I work in the morning shift, by continuous working shifts. Well, I have planned again. Let's go to the production well, zone. Paimon really hopes the foreman will be in a better mood today. Absolutely not. No way. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a wasted. If possible, I'd like to apply for three continuous working days. Oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? I need food, man. I'm hungry. Sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. To investigate the hidden rules, you and Paimon start working despite the lack of clarity. Damn. Here we go. Nice! We did well today. Let's keep it up! Yeah, let's go. Oh, I Pylon's had it. Who knew that processing these widgets would be so tiring? I'm here to do shit. Oh, that's it. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Come on, lunchtime for Paimon. Lunchtime? That was all one morning? Why are you so tired? I think it, it sounded like another chest appeared. Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? And You're just realizing now it's that lunchtime. Now? Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? You're going to get the but best meal we it can. It doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Where is everybody? Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Don't get your hopes up. Well, there's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already. Let's go. Munch, munch, munch. Paimon wonders what we'll get today. Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal. Probably not. Wait. What? Huh? This is... Well, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same. Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre. What never kind of a... chef would make food like this? I've never seen a welfare meal like this. There's something wrong with this meat. What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? Someone went missing before, and now our meals have this strange meat. No, stop right there. Paimon gets what you mean. Just don't say it. Hey, isn't that Wolsey over there? It's Soylent he Green. He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it. Soylent Green, hey, people. Hey, Wolsey, have a moment? No. No, I do not. Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. In our meals. Look, does it seem normal to you? To me? Oh, that looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out. Okay, so you're poisoning uh, people. How could this be fun? Hey, don't leave! You barely even looked at it! Hey! <laughs> uh, what should we do now? Wolsey wouldn't even give us the time of day. Looks like we'll have to investigate Did you ourselves. Try to hide something? Yeah, looks like we have no other choice. Paima was positively famished a minute ago, but now she's lost her appetite. Oh, I'll eat it. Don't worry. 
Strange meat. Strange welfare meal received after violating the hidden rules of the production zone. What would you like to do this afternoon? Investigate the clues we discovered. Okay, let's see if we can find any new leads. Can I go to that fighting place? Or walk around? Okay, good, I can. Yo, I want to buy stuff from you. What? Wait, why do I have zero? What are those 2,700 things that I have, then? Oh, okay, whatever. But, I don't understand. I thought I had these things. Whatever. I don't know what it's telling me I have 2,700 of, then. I got mail. Oh, wait, I got a cheat. See what child experience from his perspective is training. Nice. And then I have mail. My mail. Hey, I got things from Twitch. What up? Thank you. Hey, I have more mail. Now I have more mail. Oh, I hit claim instead of claim all. Oops, wrong button. Alright, so now walk around and look for clues. There's multiple things I can explore. Let's go to the closest <laughs> one, because I will get lost. Hello, you two are the ones who were with His Grace. No. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh, are you that scared of him? Well, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Oh, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's... Like a reflex, I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. Oh, I get it. You want to take his place. What? P please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? Because your face reads that all over. Walk around and look for clues. Right, so there's something. Oh, it's the place with the crossed arm. <laughs> Let's go there. Fight, fight. Something, right? Hmm. Hold on, hold on. There's one more space I have to check that I just saw. There's absolutely a pipe to get on top of up here. Nothing. Alright, well, then I'm coming there. Get out my way! Great. I don't know why I've been sitting at my computer chair. I don't know what is causing them to go nuts right now, though. Yeah, I don't have any tissues on me. I'm gonna have to get up to go get some if it gets bad enough. Um, try teleporting to go up again. This one. Let's go! Ha. Take it easy. Deacon over here. How you doing? Deacon! Hey! It's the Traveler and Paimon! Oh, so now you remember our name. <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? 
I won't trip on the same step twice. I will. I do it all the time. I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like yes, you to have them. I knew there was a point of being nice to him. Huh? No, we shouldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. <sighs> Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of his grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> I will. No, I refuse to take your free stuff. Play coupons for you standing there. Investigation 200. Okay. All right, there's Nurse Lady. What up, Nurse? Sea Shwing? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, traveler. Hi, Mon. Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? Uh, what's there to enjoy here? All the potential patients she'll really have. It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. You're a cute uh, little child. Are you talking about pets or people? Do you also happen to be a veter veterinarian as well as a head nurse? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species, and we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Pretty sure most people Wait, can do that, but okay. Melazines can see that? Huh. That does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes. Running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first give place. Give me my free meals. Take care of your body. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. Supervisor Sidgween. We often see Miss Sidgween observing the prisoners at work near the production zone. It seems like she can perceive the general state of a person's health just by looking at them. Why does that keep doing that? Alright, well, for whatever reason, my light turned off again, so now I'm real dark. So we'll see what happens there. Ooh, I want to go up. Huh? Um, I don't think I'm in the right area for this. I don't think there's any teleporters here. Oh, I was gonna say, I definitely don't have that one. I don't know. Wait, can I not? Say, I really hope I can go to. Well, it's gotta be somewhere there, right? Okay, here we go. Up or down? We're Take it easy. Up. This is where I just teleported to. So. Now it's gonna go up. I'm gonna try this one. I guess it's telling me to go to my to the room from before. Oh yeah, I guess so. Take it easy. Weird. Why is it showing like that? I don't like that. Rowan, what up, man? Huh? Rowan? Uh, what are you doing here, Chief? Oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. A little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? You know, I uh, don't actually. I I've never hurt myself. thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. 
I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. Ugh. Where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? I literally just passed her. Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. I just found her, like, five seconds ago. So this isn't a coincidence, but she's always absent during lunch? Huh. That's actually really strange. Siegeween's always super dedicated to her work. Where else would she possibly go? I guess I did this out of order. Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. The empty infirmary. I've been told that the infirmary is always empty for the half hour just before lunch. But what could Sidreen be doing during that time? Well, considering I just saw her, I'm guessing she's watching the production line. Which doesn't make sense because he should have seen her coming out of the production zone or whatever. What a planet. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Oh, I did. Paimon likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? No, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. Wow, what a bit. How's Lenny holding up? My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone, but knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. More coupons! Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Alright, walk around and look for clues. Let's go into the tunnel. Somebody's definitely here. Hey, look! There's something here! Hmm, looks like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Siegeween? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick! The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Oh my god, he wants Look, to bang the child. This all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. When he object to us looking through his notes, we should thank him for the intel. And as for the notebook, let's take it. Wow, you thief. Research about characteristics of Mel Melisine. The research notes said that Melisine race perceives the world very differently from humans. As a result, the Melisines have also re developed a sense of aesthetics that he appear rather strange and alien to humans. My bedroom. Sleepy time. Oh, you want to stop investigating and go rest? Not really, but it kind of looks like I have to. It's time for rest. Okay, you should rest up. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Sure. So after working a few days straight, we got some strange meat in our lunch. What was that all about? Hmm. Has our investigation turned up anything useful recently? I think I've got something, but unfortunately it's not related really? to child. <sighs> then it looks like that part of the investigation has hit a dead end. Well, we'll keep searching for more clues tomorrow. Good night, traveler. Wait, what? I thought I went to sleep already. Whatever. Oh, Paimon doesn't want to get up. Paimon still feels completely exhausted from yesterday. What do you have planned for us? Alright, so I can't work this time. Yeah, I want to go to that ring. I 
decided to skip work. I don't think there are any more clues to be found here. Perhaps we should work in the production zone more often to see if we can discover anything else. Wait, what? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. I thought it wanted me to go to the, the crossed arm place. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How are you holding up? Let's see if there's any really easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. You apply with Grainville to do some of the simpler processing tasks and get some credit coupons without you finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. Oh, just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. With a drink next to me, huh? What Fancy would you like to do this afternoon? I want to go to the crossed arm thing. Thank you. Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. Grab yourself right. a welfare Maybe. meal. Can I buy the stuff again here or no? God damn it. Why is it saying it's that's so dumb? Shouldn't say a zero. Take it easy. Like Fight Club, right? Oh, wait, we can't talk about Fight Club. There's such a teleporter down here. Damn. Fight with me. Olives. Oh, you must be the traveler, huh? Sorry, mate, but uh, competitors as strong as you are prohibited from participating. Oh, that's bullshit. I don't make the rules, mind you, but I was given very specific instructions. Even convicts value their lives, don't they? I hope you can understand. <laughs> Bullshit. But we have a game here that'll let you show off your strength, and you'll even earn some credit coupons in the process. What do you think? Interested? And if we lose the game, will it cost us credit coupons? Of course. That's the cruel reality facing every competitor in a place like the Pancration Ring. Yeah, let's do it. Hey, let's gamble. Great. Let me walk you through the rules. Okay, good, because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. The targets in front of you will pop up one after another. You'll need to hit the targets in the same order that they popped up. If you can complete a few rounds in a row with no mistakes, then you'll win credit coupons. Oh, it's just the second you says. mess up the order, you'll lose. Game over. The game says. costs 300 credit coupons to have it go. So, you up for it? Thanks Let's for your patronage, it. mate. Now, let the game begin. Let's do it. <gasps> Targets will come up in order. When the targeting line turns blue, you must attack you must attack the targets in the order in which they came up. Successfully following this order four times will complete the challenge. Conversely, attacking in the wrong order a certain number of times will cause you to fail. Manually interrupting the challenge or leaving the challenge area will also cause you to fail. Oh boy. Him since he's actually, nah, they both have a pretty okay, shallow sword. Do your best to hit the targets, just like Colin said. Now, now, one, two, three. Okay, easy. I don't have to do it as fast as they do it. <laughs> this is a very easy game. I'm sure it gets oh, yeah, did it. What up? Give me my money. I'm a genius. Your strength really shouldn't be underestimated. Now I get why you're prohibited from participating in I any took one official swing fights. Of the sword every time. Nobody who values their life would be willing to get in the ring with you. You flatter me. Can't know for sure if you don't let me have a go. That's funny, but I'll just say you flatter However, me. However, 
You two haven't tried betting on the outcome of a Pancration match yet, have you? Nope. Just go talk to Rusimov. Buy a ticket for whichever fighter you think will win. There's a big payout if the fighter you support comes out on top. Oh boy. But we don't know anything about the fighters. How can we possibly know who to support? That's normal. Just watch a few matches and get a feel for the fighters. It won't be long before you can pick winners in your sleep. You're asking a lot. I can't... He's got a point. Why don't we give it a try? If we have enough coupons, we can probably bet at random until we figure everything out. Oh, this is a terrible idea, huh. Paimon. Bet at random, huh? Uh, well, how should I put it? Uh, it's not like you can't do that, but I'd advise you to give it some more thought first. Huh? We shouldn't get too carried away. What's the problem? Could it be that there's some sort of rule here? What? I... <gasps> Never even picked a boxer before, and you already know about the rules? You're not just strong fighters. Seems you're pretty perceptive, too. Rules, that's what they're called. I'll say just... Uh, might as well tell you about it, since you already know that much. Plus, I think you've got the potential to be one of my greatest customers. I think I can let you in a bit. Besides, I don't want to risk ever losing a customer like you. Yeah. Uh, is this that serious? Tell me your secrets. Okay, the hidden rule here is, if you buy both boxers' tickets and support them both, something bad will happen the next morning. Oh, I'm definitely doing that. So the Edge rule is bets. that we shouldn't pick both boxers in the same fight, but if anyone actually did that, wouldn't they be guaranteed to lose coupons? Who would do that anyway? And what do you mean by something bad will happen? How would I know? Not like I'm stupid enough to do that. But I've heard a story about the rule. According to the rumor, there was a masked boxer who possessed incredible skill and power. None of his opponents even stood a chance against him. However, in the final match, the organizers told him to take off his mask. He refused and never showed up to the fight. And after that, he was never seen again. Some say he died or that he was taken care of by the event's organizers. But everyone remembers that he was someone who cherished honor above all else. What does that have to do in with In his eyes, betting? supporting both boxers in a match would dishonor oh. the competition itself. So you mean, it's like, a curse? He'll take vengeance on anyone who does that? Do you know anything about him? Have you seen what he really looks like? No, he was always wearing a mask. Like he was intentionally trying to hide his identity. I don't even know anything about his past. Traveler, do you think that boxer was... Thank you for the information. We'll give it a try. Huh? We will? I just wrote You're not you for the serious, are you? Look, here I was just trying to be nice and warn you, yet here you are trying to break it on purpose? No. Yeah, it sounds pretty scary to Paimon. We would never do that. Sounds like a good lead to me. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, we're saying uh, that every time. Seems you've made up your mind. Just be sure to protect Paimon, okay? No, Paimon. You suck. Betting on both fighters will set you back about 3,000 credit oh, coupons. Oh, no. <laughs> if you have enough, then go ahead and give it a try. My money. Just don't come running back to me if something happens. My money. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. We leave the pancreation Aww. rings and Looks like we won't get a way. chance to sleep in as long as we're here. Let's get to bed early. Yes, ma'am. Sleepy time. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. My mom feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a great thing, Paimon. Structure. What do you have Your life structure. Open creation ring after earning 3,000 credit coupons, which I already have. What do you plan for us? After working here so long, we're really starting to get the hang of it. But doing the same thing all the time can get old pretty quickly. How 
you holding up? Let's see if there's any really easy work. Yeah, it's good to kick back and relax once in a while. Apply with Greenville to do some simpler processing tasks and get some crew coupon. Finish your morning work and arrive at the coupon cafeteria. What is this garbage? Ooh, it looks disgusting. Oh, Paima misses your cooking now. Hey, there's no need to be such a jerk. What would you like to do this afternoon? Uh, I want to go back to what you call my cooking. Time to go to the pancreation ring. Maybe we'll be able to find some leads there. Hell yeah, let's go. Hmm? Are you two here to buy tickets? Better be quick about it. Another match is about to start. I want to buy one for Who each are the fighter. Boxers in the next round? We have the reigning champ, Le Grappler, versus a contender from the Eastern Prison Block, Demon Horde. Oh, it's such great names. Are those their nicknames, or did they choose those names themselves? Either way, super weird. Uh, since you're new around here, I'll help you out and give you a little suggestion. Even though Le Grappler is the crowd favorite, Demon Horde is a first-class dark horse with incredible potential. Uh, I'm just gonna go with both. Anyway, for this match, I recommend that you pick... Both, please. Huh? B uh, for both fighters? Uh, I could tell you're new to this, but I didn't think you were completely clueless. I'm not. Maybe It'll you don't quite understand the rules, no? Let me try to explain again for you more clearly. You see... It sounds like oh, a higher-pitched no Patrick need, no Warburton. Need. Um, we're aware that we're going to lose coupon. Uh, all right, then, if you're absolutely sure. Remember, no refunds once you buy the tickets. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Just shut up and take our coupon. Paimon, you are causing issues. This is not how you treat the uh, officials of the thing. Come on. Seems we had a productive day. Hope we can make even more progress tomorrow. Right, I'm just gonna shit in my bed. We're about to get Amber herded right now. Hey, traveler, Paimon. Package here for you. The next time you buy something, go pick it up yourself. I'm not a delivery man, you know. Fielding, I didn't even know I got a package. Also, uh, Paimon was laying down, so my question was answered. For us? Did you buy something, Traveler? Ah, Paimon's not quite awake yet, so why don't you go take a look? I didn't buy anything unless this is... Oh, right! Yesterday we broke the hidden rule and bought tickets for both boxers. Oh, maybe this package is the bad thing that Colin said would happen. I mean, it's a turn uh, in the box. Paimon suddenly feels wide awake. Wait, maybe let Paimon go hide somewhere first. Just call Paimon after you opened it. Wow, what a jerk. Hey, wait, wait! Paimon's still here! Don't open it! Ah! <laughs> Doesn't seem especially scary, but there is something a little odd inside. Huh? What is it? Are you okay? Uh, let Paimon take a peek, too. Oh. It's Kool-Aid. Oh. It's just a small bottle, but the color of the liquid inside looks so wrong. Hmm, Almost rumor like... has it that a boxer went missing, and the liquid in the bottle it obviously looks like blood. All right, that's enough of that. No need to say it out loud. Paimon already knows what you're trying to say. Do you want to give it a sniff? Do you want to give it a taste? Well, I'd rather sniff it, if I really want to be honest. No way! Get that stuff away from Paimon! Seems we'll have to investigate. This place is chock full of strange happenings after uh, all. Paimon thinks we shouldn't open the bottle until we figured out what's going on. Just trust Paimon in this one, okay? No. Strange blood-colored fluid. Strange package received the next day after violating the hidden rules of the pancreation ring. What do you have planned for us? I don't know, because I honestly don't know what we're supposed to do now. Investigate the clues you discovered. Though it feels nice to slack off a little, less work means less coupons. Let's make the most of our morning. 
I clicked this option before and it made me work and it gave me more coupons. What? Uh, okay. I guess I'm not working now. Weird. no way to send it all out. But maybe I'll never get a chance to leave. Uh, who are you? We've never seen you before, and you don't look like a fellow convict. Uh, I, I'm not! Of course I'm not. Please, don't mistake me for a criminal. I'm a good, law-abiding citizen. I ate a cake, you jerk! Then what are you doing here? You sure seem anxious about something. I'm a promoter for Fontico. And I'm usually responsible for promoting our drink products. I thought I could complete my task here quickly and return to headquarters, but I've been here way longer than I anticipated. Oh, a promoter from Fontico? So what kind of problem did Fontico? you run into? Uh, I'm so upset. It's all because of that Duke. After discussing the company's promotional plans with him, he told me outright that my project was worthless. It is worthless. You However, suck. in light of our long history of successful collaboration, I still tried to patiently explain the details. However, to my surprise, he just cut me off while I was speaking. <clears throat> Let me take a moment and recall his exact words. Fuck out of my face. I'm just going to stop you there and say no. If anything, I'm saving you time. Wait, it seems you like... don't fully understand the value of credit coupons here, nor do you understand the value of your own products. The former is because you are from the overworld. That's understandable, and I don't blame you for that. Everybody's but as the for the latter, only someone monumentally stupid, so breathtakingly stupid that they were completely ignorant of the value of credit coupons, despite living in the underworld, would ever possibly consider buying your drink. Let's just forget it. <sighs> that's a lot to remember. Way, that's how he rejected my proposal and asked me to come up with another solution with the condition that it doesn't cause any trouble for him. Can you believe that guy? I mean, it kind of uh, makes sense. Well, he is the head honcho here. Not much you can do about that. We met him too and could tell that he's the kind of guy that's hard to pin down. Fine, fine. I know I should just let it go. I'm on his turf, after all. His house, his rules. Dissatisfaction with the Duke. The font... Well, it really is Fonta instead of Fonta. Fonta promoter has been struggling because he doesn't recognize the real value of coupons. The Duke believes that only idiots who don't understand the value of coupons will spend them on Fonta. Nice. Oh, I got more mail. What's my mail this time? Hey, oh, I got really good Primo Gems, nice. I'll take Primo Gems. Snabia Farm. This one looks like it's here. Because where else would it be? Hmm. Hmm. Let's go down. I hit the... Let's go down. Down, down, down. That's actually kind of weird. Why wasn't it um, transparent when I wasn't on the right level? I don't know what that usually does. Hello, Collins. How you doing? Hey, I, I heard you crazy fools really did it. You bought tickets to support both fighters, didn't you? Well, I, did anything happen? Well, the next day we received a mysterious package, but we still haven't made any sense of the contents. So it is real. You didn't become cursed or anything like that, did you? Are you both still okay? Wait. Are you sure that it's still you controlling your bodies right now? <gasps> you got me. Uh, Paimon's not sure. What do you think, Traveler? Is Paimon still Paimon? Only you'd ever ask such a question, so I'm pretty sure you're fine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Hmm. Yeah, you two don't seem to have changed at all. But I wouldn't let your guard down just yet. Still, I didn't expect you would actually do it. You'd actually throw away coupons like that just to satisfy your curiosity? 
Well, if we're gonna be here for 45 days, we got something to do. Even if we bought tickets like everybody else, it's not like we could hope to earn any coupons. When it comes to things like this, it's always the organizer who makes the real profits. Hey, just what are you trying to imply? The Pancration Ring is an honest business, and we really don't make much from selling tickets. We make so little that even the current tournaments can only be held thanks to funding from the producer of Fanta. Oh, so it's the company that manufactures Fanta sponsoring the event? Pylon thought all of this was thanks to the Duke's support. Let's just say it's a mutually beneficial arrangement. They reached out to us first, hoping to promote Fanta products in the Fortress of Meropede. I understand. Of uh, course. Anyway, you try and take extra good care of yourselves these next few days, you hear? Sponsor of the Pancration Tournament. According to Collins, the Pancration Tournament only took place because the Fanta company sponsored it. The company must want a return on their investment as well. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what that is. Who else? Who else do we talk to in here? Is it someone in the ring? Nope, it's right there. Hey, what are these papers scattered all over the ground? Are they registration forms or something? Hmm, maybe not. Every page has the Fonta Co symbol on it. Maybe it's some flyers from the company. Let's take a look before anyone else shows up. Uh, okay. But if someone catches us, they could accuse us of trying to steal the company's secrets, couldn't they? What are you afraid of? We're already convicted criminals. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Guess there's nothing to worry about then. Let Paimon have a look here. Without assistance from the Fontaine Research Institute, development of the new product has been slow, and some researchers on the project have voiced concerns. We have no choice but to let the new product undergo the first phase of promotional trials without a designated name or packaging. We will adjust the direction of future development according to feedback. We have decided to only conduct closed, small-scale trials for the time being. Sure doesn't seem like anything unusual. A company is just trying to develop some new products besides Fanta. But it sounds like things aren't going well at all. Uh, let's put these papers back where we found them and make it look like nobody went through them. Okay, It's a giant good. pile. Just throw them down. New products under development. Fonda's internal reports suggest that they're starting a new trial of an as-yet unnamed and unpackaged product. The product has to undergo a trial because even Fonta's own employees have a lot of reservations about it. Oh, more clues, but nothing else is here. Let's go. Uh, the next clue is on the floor above. Maybe this one. Or if anything, I'm too high and I need to jump down. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to get used to that because that seems to be my go-to thing, apparently. Lunch time. Let's go. Without even thinking about it. Want to grab something to eat? Let's eat. Let's end the shift. All right. But remember that we bought this time with coupons, so let's make better use of it next time. Never. Oh. Just a regular meal set. Guess Paimon shouldn't get her hopes up. Isn't that a good thing if it's normal like this instead of being all garbage? Um, I guess I'll get some more money. After working here so long, we're really starting to get the but doing the same thing. All Let's see if there's yeah, really, really easy work. Good to Applied rainbows, some simpler tasks, and you can see coupons, yada yada yada. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? Oh, Paimon still doesn't know what to make of it. Do you have any ideas, Traveler? I think I've got something, but it's not related to chocolate. Really? Oh, then it looks like that part of the investigation led us nowhere. Well, maybe we'll have better luck tomorrow. Good night, Traveler.
stage objectives complete. Nice. Okay, so we've investigated two of the hidden rules. <sighs> Paimon didn't think this prison would have so many weird things going on. We'd better pick up the pace with our investigation, otherwise we'll never get anywhere. Let's spend some coupons to skip our shift so we can go investigate. Yeah, let's skip work for now and put our time to good use. I already did that. Damn it. <laughs> oh, hold on. Hold on. We got some more goodies. Let's go. Nice. Get up and talk to Pima. Good roll. All right. Maybe I'll take one more day off and knock out the rest of the work once I'm feeling up to it. Oh, well, I might as well double check since I'm here. But, uh, hold on. I have 127. Not much. I will have enough tomorrow because it's gonna be this thing, right? Tomorrow? Yes, I have intertwined fate five of those. And then I should get enough from the commission. Hey, isn't that Vidoc over there? No. Huh. Is it just Paimon, or are there fewer people than usual here today? It's just you. Ah. Uh, seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. We're getting by. Impressive. Very impressive. So... Now, can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? I'm gonna laugh when he tells mm -hmm. me the ones I already learned. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? I just learned another rule. Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. <sighs> we get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. That's not something really even rule. more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Oh, well, that's fun. Cannibals? In the fortress of Meripede? Every month, they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. For Since they have fairies. no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. Uh, Paimon might already know what you mean by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. There's still a chance that what we saw isn't connected to cannibals. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do, too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your information. Traveler, Always can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Even if it's true, do you really think cannibals could take me in a fight? Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. Alright, then just like before, let's get ready to investigate another hidden rule. Oh, when will all the secrets end? Never. Brewing with curiosity, you and Paimon eat lunch and head out to investigate the other two rules. Hmm, Vidoc isn't here. But the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them! More people! <laughs> Just stay away from me. Never. Oh, never mind. I guess I will. Alexis, yo, whoa. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. Saying stuff like what? I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. 
Aren't I just saying hi to these people? I don't understand why they're so aggressive. Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. It's pretty obvious that they're hiding something. Could they be connected to the cannibals? But if they're being so obvious about acting weirdly, do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon! Let's approach it from a different angle. We'll probably never get anything out of these guys. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so! Hello, Fielding. What do you want? Oh. Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. What a douche. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Why can't uh, you worry about what happens at night, huh? Well... You see, sometimes we hear strange noises at night. Right! We heard it happens a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? Someone goes in the pipe to clean. They just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month. And it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want, and if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. This is oddly oh, nice okay. of you for once. It will keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Those might be the days when the cannibals are active, but it also might be nothing, just the pipes being cleaned. Right. Both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. No, re no reason not to find out the truth for ourselves. I knew you would say that. All right, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. I just hopes the guards don't catch us. Oh, I'm so tired. But we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. I'm not so tired, but we can we can't sleep yet. They'll be cleaning the pipes tonight, so it's the perfect chance for us to investigate. We just need to wait until everyone else falls asleep. If we miss our chance tonight, it'll be a while before we get another opportunity. <sighs> Whatever. Just be sure to wake Paimon if she dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. Ooh, I actually huh? feel how Traveler, the traveler feels right now. Falling did asleep. Did you fall asleep already? Yes, ma'am. I'm falling asleep myself.
doing, child? Go run. Oh my god. And it's the cannibals. What up? Munch, munch, munch. Ooh, secret tunnel. Something is following me. I have to go. Traveler, come on, wake up! I... I saw a child in my dream again. Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Investigating the pipes tonight is the right call. Child escaped via the pipes. Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened. I'm sure we'll but find out soon what enough. What about the cannibals? How do you explain them? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, well, it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. I know you. You were the ones we saw. <laughs> You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? Oh, of course. You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. I know, the theatrics. What you say? All those rumors about cannibals and rules were started by you, weren't they? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? trying to do I don't have to tell you anything if you turn around go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything then I'll pretend that you never showed up here yeah scram nothing worth seeing here oh shut up there's something calling to me I have to go huh what did you say isn't that exactly what boss said when he left hey do you know our boss yeah Chill day, Tartaglia. Oh, we had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. Wow, I just outed him so in front of his So, did friends. he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. I'm a friend of his. We came here to learn what happened to him. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So, unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm... <sighs> All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow. Those dreams of yours sure come in handy. Hell yeah. We gave him the business for a while and we always give him a hard time when he first came to the fortress of Maripede. But here in the fortress, the strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. You could always see how amazing he was even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, then it's our job to get it done. Yeah, so, you tell. we got to work and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would...
would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow. It sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? To hang out, Because duh. as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. That's not confusing. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing you up. You already said you didn't so know So you him. come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Hell yeah, yeah. we will. But it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Smooth Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. It's one thing we know for sure. I beat him. Okay, okay. Paimon was just brainstorming possibilities. Can you take us there? You want to go to a spot where All you right. are? Keep quiet and follow us. Oops. Enter the pee pee. The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? I need the ice Not kids likely. help. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. I know a good diver. Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going. Yes, All right. I think I'm gonna have to call it night. I know it was kind of a shorter stream than what I usually do, but we have tired, and I don't want to miss the story. I'm enjoying it, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to jump on tomorrow. So just to end, wrap it up quickly, thanks for coming. Have a good night. See you guys next time. Bye.